for Koran Mori, a man who has amassed all the wealth and power imaginable, his final desire is eternal life. And in order to conduct further research in this area, Koran needs Yonagi Sakoshita. To this end, he created the Underground Death Tournament, in which losing teams must make an offering to the sponsor. Using this rule to his advantage, Koran tricked Team Hokage into putting up Yonagi as their wager. At Koran's command, Kurei ordered his team of subordinates, the Jushinshu, to enter the tournament and crush the Hokage. This, however, proved to be no easy task. In the second round, Genjiro tried to steal Rekka's fire, but was destroyed by the power of his dragons. In round three, the Jushinshu member called Neon tried to take advantage of the discord between Rekka and Tokia, but failed. And in the end, Team Hokage came together for the greater good and advanced to the tournament's quarterfinals. Invisible Foe, the battle against fear. We finally made it to the quarterfinals. Yeah, and there's only three more rounds to go till we take it all. We better kick some ass! Now it's only down to two rounds. What do you mean? The team we're supposed to face in the next round has dropped out of the tournament. So we get a win for this round and automatically advance to the semifinals. Ha! Huh, they must have gotten scared after hearing about us! No, they're just too badly injured from their last uh, bout. Oh. That's okay. We'll take a win any way we can get it. All right, everyone. Let's head back to the hotel. Wait a minute, Rekka. Huh? Our opponent in the next round is fighting right now. I think we should all watch their match so we know what we're up against. And now you will die. My demon cannon will transform you into a spirit of the dead. <laughs> Fat chance, freak show. What was that? Ladies and gentlemen, because Jisho is no longer able to fight, the winner of this match is Magensha! And now, Team Uruha Ma will advance to the semi-final round of this tournament! No way! I can't believe anyone could beat Jisho so quickly and easily! Wouldn't you know it, just when I thought luck was on our side, we gotta face this guy? Well, it's gonna be a challenge, that's for sure. It's gonna take everything we've got to win. Beware, Team Hokage. For tomorrow, my younger brother Gashikura and I will send you to your graves. So, it'll finally be your turn to fight Team Hokage. The stage has been set, Magensha. You must win Yanagi Sakoshita for me, so I can undergo my special procedure. Just leave it to me. Everything is going exactly as you planned, Master Mori. Now I'm only a heartbeat away from achieving everlasting life. <laughs> <laughs> for this match. Ladies and gentlemen, we finally reached the semifinals of the Underground Death Tournament. And Team Hokage has already entered the ring. Nobody thought that all of their members would advance from the preliminary to the semifinals, but here they are. At first, the audience wasn't on their side, but now the roar of support is deafening. <laughs> So, Rekka, you finally made it this far. If you have the skill, you'll get through this so you can fight me. Don't worry. I'll do whatever it takes to get you in the ring. So I can defeat you.
our first fighter, Tsukishiro. Second up is the magician, Kashamaru. <gasps> My second in command, Kashakura. And myself, the team's leader, Magensha. Aww, these guys are scarier than the other teams. I sure am glad I'm not getting in the ring. <laughs> Pretty powerful. You think they're even human? I am impressed. Oh, Brazier. I believe the word you're looking for is bravo. Hmm. That was quite an entrance, but you guys don't scare us. You're just a bunch of magicians. All smoke and mirrors, but no substance. There have been others who have doubted our abilities, but they're all dead now, so you'll have to find out for yourselves. We will now begin this semi-final round. Team Hokage versus Team Uruhama. All five Hokage members will face Uruhama's four fighters one at a time, with the losers being eliminated. From Team Hokage, Kaoru Kogane. Yes. <laughs> and from Uruhama, Tsukishiro. It's that mysterious mummy-looking thing. There's got to be a monster under there. I just know it. I've seen it on TV. Uh. <sighs> This is his debut match, and I gotta say, who would have thought such a pretty boy was hiding under all those bandages? Yeah, no kidding, he's really cute. But not as cute as me, right? Yeah, you wish. Not interested, not my type. Hmm, and to think I was psyched up about fighting in my first bout. But now that I know I have to fight a runt monkey, what a big disappointment. What? Who are you calling a runt? Are you kidding me? Take a look in the mirror. I'll make short work of you with my kaigetsu. Huh? Wow, what a strange weapon. It looks like a boomerang. <laughs> Don't you know anything? Crescent blades like this originated in India and Ethiopia. They're the ultimate killing weapon. Now, I think that it's only fair to warn you in advance. You're going to die. And I'm going to kill you without laying a single finger on your ugly little head. Are you finished yapping yet? Some guys just have to drone on and on about how great they are before they fight. But you know, the more they talk, the more they suck. Eh. You're gonna regret that. The first bout is underway! Wow, they're moving so fast, I can't see what they're doing. Mm. Kogonaki Configuration 2! Dragon! <laughs> You're much more skilled than I thought. To be able to transform the shape of your weapon so quickly. What did you think I was? Some kind of amateur? I may be small, but I'm good enough to be a member of Team Hokage. Hmm. A member of Team Hokage, huh? And this coming from a former Uruha member. Huh? You mean, you already knew about me? <laughs> That's funny, I've never heard of you guys before. I'm not surprised. Within the Uruha, only a select handful know about us. We are, after all, the secret Uruha, whose existence is kept tightly under wraps. The secret Uruha? That's right. The expansion of an organization such as ours ultimately gives rise to rebels who break rank such as Genjiro, Gonko Morikawa, and you, Kaoru Koganei. We, the secret Uruha, dispose of such traitors. As you can see, we take our work very seriously. And because you betrayed Master Kure, you will have to pay the ultimate price. Uh. Uh. Whoa, that was a close call. 
Wait a minute, the Kaiketsu looks a lot like the Kogonaki's fourth transformation, the Crescent Moon. Which means that... Kogane, uh, 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 get up! Huh, what a shame. I guess that my Kaigetsu is simply too big to cut a little munchkin like you in half. This guy's a lot tougher than I thought. It's the end of the line for you, monkey boy. <laughs> Did you really think you'd get away, traitor? All that's left is for you to die. Hey, he's just a kid! <laughs> He's down! Huh. What a shame that I had to resort to touching him. I had hoped to avoid the gore. Huh? And now I'm all covered in his blood. Oh well, at least the little runt didn't touch me. It would have been a crime against humanity if he damaged my beautifully sculpted face. Ah! Huh? Ah! 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 You stupid moron! No one hits me like that and gets away with it! I'll give it back to you a thousandfold! Hmm... He took quite a beating and seems to have sustained very little damage. Of course he's tough! He trains with me every day! I taught him just about everything he knows! You miserable pissant. You touched my beautiful face and therefore... Now you're gonna pay for it! Oboro! What the hell's going on? Where did he go? That's unreal! As soon as he cloaked himself, he disappeared. His power lies in Oboro. What's Oboro? It's a madogu to make a person invisible. It's like a moon in a dark night sky. When it's shrouded by clouds, it becomes Oboro, as in hazy. Where'd you go, you dumbass? Get back here! <laughs> no matter how hard you look, you'll never find me. But I have a clear view of you. In other words, you can't see that I'm about to eviscerate you! Now, let's see. Should I get you from the front? Or from the back? This isn't good. I have no idea how to fight something I can't see. That cheater. Come on, Kogane. Don't give up now. Just suck it up and do the best you can. Yeah, you don't have to see him to beat him. Don't psych yourself out. Just brush it off. What do you mean, brush it off? Use your intuition. Have some faith. And get some guts. <sighs> you should have known better than to ask these guys. Are you afraid? If you just let me kill you earlier, then you wouldn't have had to suffer. <laughs> Die! Whoa! That was too close for my liking. But with wounds like those, you'll slowly bleed to death. I wonder how much time you have left. You'll never catch me, you runt. In order for an object to be seen, there has to be reflection, refraction, and absorption of light. Without this, we cannot see things as they are. The power to weaken the refraction of light to a level invisible to the naked eye, that is the magic of Oboro. Coward! 
Get back here and fight me face to face! This is bad. He's too agitated to think clearly. Don't try to fight what's not there, Koganei! You can't afford to waste all your energy! Yeah, but what else can I do? Behind me. I'm sure that even you have heard of H.G. Wells' book, The Invisible Man, haven't you? The main character hid the fact that he was invisible by wrapping himself in bandages. Thus, I was giving you a clue as to my incredible powers. But I guess it didn't even cross your mind. You uneducated idiots really piss me off. <laughs> oh, what's wrong? <laughs> Now don't worry, Princess. I know he'll figure out how to defeat him. Yeah, but... Please. No! Rekka's right! He's still got a chance to win! The next time Tsukishiro cloaks himself! <sighs> oh, Baro! What did he mean, the next time he cloaks himself? <laughs> You can seek, but you shall not find me. At least not until I disempower you. I hope you're ready to die now. You only have a few seconds left. I'm going to fillet you like a flounder at the fish market. I should be able to see him. There's gotta be something. that you were invisible, there was something else that gave you away. My bloodstains on your oboro. You lost because you're so cocky and careless. <laughs> no, wait, please, I give up. Please, spare my beautiful face. <laughs> <laughs> Talk up one more win for Team Hokage! Ha! Huh. That's the end! The winner is... Huh? You okay there, little buddy? Oh, Karu! <laughs> I'm okay, this is nothing! I'm fine. I'm... Well then, since both fighters are no longer able to continue, I declare this a draw. But I think it's pretty obvious everyone knows who really won. That was great! Don't worry, Kogane. You just take it easy now. You'll feel a lot better when we deliver the good news to you. When we win this tournament! All right! I'm up next. Now it's time for Team Hokage's main man. That's me, Rekka Hanabishi. Secret Uruha? Whatever. I'll burn them all to a crisp. Huh? Natare? What are you doing? I don't remember summoning you! Hey!
Hey, what's going on? Next on Rekka, two fire dragons, a stolen technique. My heart is burning with fire. 